just been named top vocalist of the year by Cashbox magazine. As a youth, he was an outsider and a loner. He'd been to nine different schools by the age of 16. And that perhaps explains why several of his songs, some of the most effective, have been intensely personal. I asked him if this was difficult for him. Very difficult, and, and for the most part, uh, ex with a few exceptions. Uh, I Am, I Said, Brooklyn Roads, which are very blatantly autobiographical and very personal. Um, those, those two songs were easily the most difficult songs I've ever written because, because I wanted to, to say exactly what I, what, I, what I meant. And I had such a, a, a reservoir of, of um, uh, such a reservoir to, to draw from. Uh, they were very difficult songs to write and I had to dig deeply for them. Um, and uh, the other music, I guess, in a sense, any, any creative endeavor is a reflection of the, of the writer or the artist or the sculptor. Uh, it's all personal, in a sense. Have you ever written anything <clears throat> so personal that you couldn't perform it, that you just put away in a drawer? And... No, because then I wouldn't have written it. You only write for an audience. And... Well, um, maybe that's true. I'll have to think about that for a while. I think most writers do. I don't know many writers that write only write yeah, for the drawer. Yeah, I'm sure. The... I'd, I'd, I'd hate to think that what I was working on would, would only, you know, would never leave the confines of my, my home. You once said that when you began writing, it suddenly became an, a compulsion, almost an obsession for you. When you started as a kid yes. writing, you just poured from you. Yes, it was a, it was a compulsion. I'm not sure I... Well, uh, maybe I do understand it. I was there were so many pent up things, so many things that I felt, so many frustrations uh, as a kid, and I, I had finally found a vent for it, and it came out in an unbelievable torrent. From from at one point never writing anything uh, to to writing constantly. I mean, I wrote constantly. I wrote in school. I wrote on the subways. I wrote at home. I wrote anywhere that I was. I wrote. The biggest problem that I had when I was younger was finding enough paper. Really, I wrote on just about anything, the back of receipts and paper bags, because there was just never enough paper. I guess there's a hangover from that now, uh, because I've achieved a, r a relative affluence. I go out and buy dozens of yellow legal pads and just put them neatly in the corner and just look at them, and you know, it's, <laughs> it's one of my great luxuries. I have a theory which I've expressed to other writers, some on this program, that people become writers at that age because because it tells them who they are. That it, it, it makes them a person, it makes them someone. That it makes them special. That it sets them apart from everybody else. Gives them some status. I, su I suppose that's that's true also. But uh, realistically, when I started to write, I I, di I didn't even think about why. And there was never any question of why I was writing it or you know, delve into it. I never even thought that the songs were a reflection of myself uh, until I started to record the first record that I had out was a song called Solitary Man. And the first question that people would ask me in interviews was, are you a solitary man? And at first my reaction was, well, what does that have to do with it? It's a song. I wrote it. Do you like it? You know. And then, of course, I realized that... Uh, that it was a very natural first song because that was my life up until then. How many were there in your family? In my media family, yeah. just a younger brother, my parents. But uh, I, I'm trying to find out if writing made you feel that you were as special as other members of your family, some of them were, I think, were talented. Well, I had a very, uh, I had a very interesting family. Most, mostly my cousins and, and my brother, we were very close. and. Uh, uh, we were all boys. It was, it's all boy. There were no girls in my family, and uh, they were all special in some way. Uh, either my cousin, who was the, the best-looking kid in New York City, or my brother, who was uh, an electronics genius and still is an inventor, which is a kind of a weird profession. Uh, one other cousin was fabulous in school, and you know they all had something special, uh, except for me. You know, but. Uh, well, then songwriting became that thing, I guess. It did sense. make you special. In a sense. Yeah, it made me something. I yeah. don't know if it was special, but it made me something. Different. Something worthwhile. I get asked, I suppose I get a phone call at least a week, sometimes a phone call every day from kids 
who want to break in the music business and don't know how, and I can't tell them because it's not my business, but say a kid says to you, I, I, want, I write songs and I play the guitar and I, I want to know how, how I can get into the business, what do you tell them? Well, if they're, if they're writers, if they're writing songs, then what they have to do is try and uh, expose the music to, to publishing companies. The, the purpose of a publishing company is to, uh, is to take a song, have it copywritten, and uh, probably have a demonstration record made of it. Uh, from that point, they would bring it around to a number of artists and say, do you like this? If you do, we would like you to record it. But uh, from my own experience, the publishing company was the first contact with, uh, with artists, with recording, uh, and with uh, a kind of exposure of the music. And I think if they're writers, then they should bring the music around to publishing companies. I read that you were fired by six publishing companies well, yeah. in a row. Yeah. Why was this? Well, because I wasn't very good, first of all. and. Uh, I, would, I found it very difficult to write under the um, prescribed circumstances that you find, in, at, or at least found at that time in publishing companies, where uh, where songs would be very specific. You know, an artist would come up, a major artist, and there would be a staff of writers, and uh, uh, and, and the publisher would be very specific about what kind of song you were to write for that artist. Uh, and had a great deal of difficulty you writing said, that. You said you weren't very good, but it seems to me, it, wasn't this period you're writing for people like Presley and the Monkees? No, sure, this? I was writing for them, but that doesn't mean that they recorded them. I mean, I would write for God, you know, but that doesn't... Uh, no, that was a... I spent uh, six or seven years without having anything ever recorded by anyone, which is an, was a record up until <laughs> that point, you know. Sort of frustrating, wasn't it? Was it frustrating for you? Frustrating? Yeah. Yeah, it was very frustrating, but uh, it was the kind of uh, it was the kind of pressure cooker that either just you know broke you and, and, and made you decide to go in, into selling shoes or, or to really commit yourself to it. And uh, it was very difficult. It was a very unhappy time of my life because uh, uh, my feeling was that I had finally found something that I wanted to do and wanted to do it desperately. And here I would come in contact with professional people who had absolutely no use for what I did, you know. Um, it was difficult, but it was, uh, uh, I don't know, it was a kind of a trial by fire. When you finally had a hit, the effect on, on you must have been pretty pretty powerful when you finally made it and realized that you had something that people wanted to listen to and hear well, for all a, these it years. It was enormous, but I mean, to me, the most most exciting thing was, uh, was the, the first time that someone recorded one of the songs, because in more ways than one, it was a record of what I had done, and uh, I waited a long time for that to happen, and uh, I still have that early record, and it was just an amateurish kind of thing, but it was, it was a first, it was a... It, was, uh, it said to me, yes, people will record it. People will like your songs enough to record them. Did you have the same kind of feeling then that you had when you actually wrote your first song? I think you've told interviewers before you can still remember the first song yeah. that you wrote, that this had a tremendous, just the act of writing it had a tremendous effect on you. Well, I mean, it was, uh, it was a revelation to me because uh, I'd never considered writing music before, and uh, it, it was just unbelievable. I, just, I, I wrote it, and I looked at it. And uh, I couldn't believe it, because it was a song. I mean, it was in the most basic sense. It had a beginning and an end and a very strange <laughs> melody. And the story wasn't particularly interesting, but it was a song. And that made me something. It made me a songwriter. And uh, it was super. The reason that I remembered it is because uh, about a year later, I met with someone who was, who was a professional. And he said the one regret that he had was that he, he never remembered his first song. And I made up my mind at that point to write down the first song and remember it. And I, I don't remember the second one, but the first <laughs> one I remember. You know, people look at uh, songs and they're written down. They look so simple. And they're so difficult to write, as anybody who's tried writing them knows. When you, you must have discovered that through a long process of trial and error. Do they get easier or do they get harder for you? They get harder because I want more from them. I expect more from them, and I, I put more into them and give more to them, more of myself to them. Uh, so they've become more and more difficult, whereas at the beginning I would write two or three songs a day. I mean, they were songs only because they, the, 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 the actual definition, beginning and end, and a med uh, melody and a lyric. Um, 
but I don't write that many songs now. I would write maybe six or seven or eight songs in a period of a year. Uh, but they're much more difficult to write for me now.